Well, hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Steph from Zitzy Gem. Thank you for joining me here today. Today we're doing a Curve Collab video um, with my Curve members. We have V. We have Julia. We have Liana. We have Manuela. We also have myself. Penny. Stephanie with Miss Creatively Miss Me, I'm sorry. And we have Michelle with H, Graceful. We have Silver Curl Zelda. She's our newest member of our Curve Collab. So let's congratulate her for being here. It's just an honor having her, you know, in our collab. And here I'm just, you know, showing y'all that I'm wearing purple because uh, we are doing a look for Epilepsy Awareness Month and it's the color purple. So I'm showing you that I have blemishes on my skin. You know, and I'm going to use the, the tart shape tape and creamy, which will hide some of these flaws that I have on my skin before I put, apply a foundation. So, um, but like I said, I'm going to create a bold look for those family members just, just in, just in honor of them, you know, for family members and for, for those who are struggling with epilepsy and family members who are, who have, they're struggling, you know, with their family members, you know, because of epilepsy, because uh, epilepsy is pretty scary. Um, I had a coworker who had collapsed in front of me, was shaking and we had to put him to the side. We had called the ambulance and he was having a seizure and it was the first time I've ever experienced anything like that. And I do not want to experience it again, uh, or see somebody go through anything like that. So I could imagine what his family, what it must be like for the person that was going through that might feel or the family members who have a family member who's going through that can't I can't even imagine you know you know the worries that go go through their go through their mind like will they survive another seizure you know that's what that would be that would be my main concern like would they survive over you know if, if our seizures you know I know they had their they're not curable but they are controlled you know with medication and um, as far as them being um, you know you know things that make make you be cause of a death I've never heard of anything like that but I could be wrong I'm not very uh, keen on um, epilepsy I don't have any anybody, anybody in my family who had, who has epilepsy but um, I can share some information on epilepsy this is the whole point of these videos because I, I do want to create a bold look to, sh to, to show y'all that y'all can y'all can move forward and be hopeful and be strong and not give up <clears throat> and um, be a survivor right now I'm putting on my rare beauty foundation and I feel like I need to tell you that this foundation is is, is um, it's, it's not for everybody but um, <clears throat> it's not a bad foundation either actually this foundation is lightweight it has like a watery base so when you use it with a blending sponge it soaks up a lot of the a lot of the foundation so if you have baby smooth skin, I think I would recommend this foundation for you. But if you don't, I would recommend for you to use it with a brush, like the one that I'm using now, a kabuki brush. That's my favorite kabuki brush. One of my favorite tools in, in applying foundation, you know. Uh, so, and it does give you more coverage than it would for a blending sponge. And um, so, yeah, so that's the reason why I apply it with a brush instead of a blending sponge. <clears throat> I did a wear test on it, so I can give you my experience of what had happened in the video that I'll go ahead and put up here to the right that you can watch. You know, a wear test on this foundation to let you know my experience on it. It does get on the greasy and the oily side. So it's best for you to have either some blotting tissue in your purse or have some setting powder in your purse <clears throat> to blot, you know, the greasy and oiliness from your skin. So, um... Continuing on with epilepsy, like I said, my heart goes out to the family members and for the for the people who who have these seizures. But I believe it is it is being controlled. There is treatment for it. Uh, <clears throat> I will, I'm going to type in a question asking, has anybody died of epilepsy? Because that's something I would like to know. Because you just never know. I mean. Seizures can happen at any time, um, at any age. And then I just showed you my, this is one of my favorite blotting, um, 
setting powders. You know, I got that from one of my Z, ZC um, subscription boxes. So, and I really like it because it, it's not like the translucent powders that you would normally use. Oh, you know, like the, the loose powders. This is actually like, you know, pressed. It's a pressed um, translucent powder. And it actually does really do good for my skin. So this is me with already, with where I blotted my skin full with... Uh, with that powder. I really do like that powder. <clears throat> so throughout the video, I'll be showing you, I'll be using, um, how I apply my makeup, you know, you know, my makeup routine. <clears throat> Okay, so I don't think I can read anything upon seizures if you're if if it's possible to die from a seizure. Uh, I see here an article that says um, while it is possible to die from a seizure, it is very rare. Dying solely from a seizure without secondary factors like a fall or drowning is even rarer. So it, there has to be a, a, a root cause. <clears throat> for you to have um for you to have died of a seizure right now I'm showing you the blush that I am wearing and I'm trying to pan it out so you can see how it's almost panned I'm very excited you know for for that but um yeah it is very good, so that's why I had to tap it off but yes, that answers my question that I had. That was a concern of mine. You know, can people die of seizures? And not without another root cause from what this article says. But I'm pretty sure y'all can give me y'all's experiences. Let me know. <clears throat> Let me know otherwise if y'all have had experienced anybody or, if, uh, you know, anybody who had experienced, you know, dying of seizures without another root cause for it. And... I would I would be glad to know you know find out get more uh, get get more knowledge on epilepsy I don't have any family who has seizures or who's or any friends <coughs> excuse me or have any friends that um, have this I just know that I had a co-worker of mine that did collapse in front of me. I'm not sure if I told you this already, but I did have a coworker of mine that collapsed in front of me, and it was like scary, scariest thing. As, and then imagining how scary it was for the other, for the person who actually had the seizure, and the family members who are, who have family members who have seizures. I can just imagine how scary it is for them because you just never know. Because seizures can happen at any time and at any moment. You could be underwater. You can be. Um, in your car you could be at work and if you're around family that if you're around people that are not family and you know it's pretty scary you know I can see you know where where the paranoia sets in I am showing you my colored rain lavender dreams highlighter it's a really good highlighter that's why I'm giving it a thumbs up um, it's in the shade lavender dreams it's a purple highlighter and it's not too highly uh, highly how do you say beaming you know it's just it just gives like a natural glow and it's in the shade lavender as I can see it like through the camera right now I can see that it's giving me like a lavender shade but it's like a real subtle shade it's not wham bam in your face glow type of um highlighter and I use it in purple you know for to keep you know to keep in um uniform with uh, today's look so symptoms for epilepsy requires a medical diagnosis uh, during a seizure a person experiences abnormal behavior symptoms and sensations sometimes including loss of consciousness uh, there are a few symptoms between seizures people may experience a, a fatigue a fainting or fatigue, whole body feeling, 
other feeling of a uh, rhythmic muscle contractions or muscle spasms. Sensory, uh, meaning aura or pins and needles. Also common are seizures, amnesia, anxiety, depression, headache, sleepiness, staring, staring spells, or temporary paralysis after, after a seizure. Now, I'm reading all these symptoms and I'm like, okay, I, I do have quite a bit of these symptoms. You know, so, um, yeah, but I don't want to get into, like, jumping to conclusions that, you know, I'm not a hypochondriac either, so <laughs> I, I do have to, you know, go to the doctor, and if I keep having, you know, these symptoms persist, you know, for a while, then I, I, I will go and see the doctor. So I just put on one of my, uh, one of my favorite um, eyebrow uh, products, which was the, um, the pencil, the Lottie London pencil, but it's not in my shade. It's in a shade brown, and I usually go for ebony because I have black hair, ebony hair, and um, so, you know, the shade of my hair is ebony, so that's the reason why um, I go over it with the brow gel. Either it'll be clear, or this in this case is tinted. This is a tinted brow gel from Gimme Brow from Benefit Cosmetics. It's one of my favorite brands as well. And um, it's giving me tints. It's in the shade, um, I think it's 5.0 or 4.5. It's, it's the darkest shade. It's a shade ebony, you know, for this uh, brow product. So, now warning signs for epilepsy are temporary confusion, a uh, staring spell, stiff muscles, un uncontrollable jerking movements of the arms and legs, loss of c consciousness or awareness, psychological symptoms such as fear, anxiety, or deja vu. Now, can you develop suddenly uh, epilepsy? Can you suddenly develop epilepsy? Uh, let me get to that. Um, but first, I want to show you, uh, let you know that I'm using my uh, tinted primer, eyeshadow primer, which is in the shade Champagne. And I, I've been using this primer for quite a while, and I really like it a lot. I'm just trying to pan it out. That's the reason why I chose this primer. I use it for every look that I use. Um, I've, I haven't strayed away from that primer because I'm trying to get rid of it. But it seems like the more that I try to get rid of it, the more it just you know, just the more it, it, it looks like it just, uh, like it creates more, more product in the, in the, in the tube. It's like, where is all this product coming from? I thought I was almost finished with it, but no, it's not done. It still has, I still have some in there. So now we're going to go into the eye look and I love Ace, Ace Beauté or Ace Beauty or Ace, um, Ace Beauté. Ace Boutte, I think that's how they pronounce it. Uh, I think uh, one of the um, um, people who, you know, who do advertisements for Ace, Ace Butte, Ace Boutte, they call it Ace Boutte, is, is Ace Boutte or Ace Boutte, I think that's how they pronounce it. So, um, sorry if I keep repeating it. <laughs> But yes, um, it's just, it's just different. It's just, I don't know, Ace Beauty. I've, I've known to just call it Ace Beauty because sometimes, you know, the way it's spelled and how you pronounce it is just, um, you know, people pronounce it differently. So, yeah, so my heart goes out to the family members who are going through all this. And I just want to create a bold look, bold purple look to tell y'all to be bold and don't give up and stay strong and know that you're not alone. There's, there's people that care who have humanity and who are there for you when you need help. So don't fear that you'll, you're, you're back, that somebody's going to turn their back on you because, you know, um, there's always, going to be somebody there for you so you just stay positive and and continue with your treatment you know that the doctor gives you 
for your seizures and that should help that should help you but I don't think it's anything that is curable because it has to do with the way you know the brain had functions you know um, the neurons in your brain you know just the receptors and all that you know it all depends on how how that goes into play so I, I really do feel for those who do have epilepsy um, so if you're any but if you're that person if you're a person who has had who has epilepsy or know anybody who has epilepsy please leave me your comment down below leave me your experience tell us more about epilepsy in your experience because and um, more information that we can that we should know about epilepsy that we don't already know right now I'm going ahead and putting some highlighter uh, from the lavender dreams from colored rain onto my eyebrow bone to give me a pop of shimmer <clears throat> And I'm very glad that all of you are here today. It really means the world to me. It means a lot that you're here joining me and uh, watching my video. Along with the other ladies I'll be linking down below. I'll be putting their mentioned names and um, who were in this collab. Keeping a real fun collab. I'll be putting their names down below. And um, you can watch their videos. So... Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool and fun, you know, being in this collab. It is, uh, it is. I, I really grown to, to love the um, love the the ladies that are in this collab. I really grown to love them, love them, and know them, and feel comfortable around them and and I know that I am in a, in a good place with them knowing that uh, the collab being in the collab I feel like I'm in a good place in this collab right now I'm trying to create a halo eye because um, I didn't expect the look to turn out this dark. I didn't want the, the look to turn out really dark. I wanted it to be bold, of course. Uh, and bold it did. Bold it came out. Really bold. You know, I'm, I'm either, I'm in it, in it, you know, all the way through or, or not in it at all. That's how I am. So, and I appreciate you all. For um, for joining me here today, I really do. I do appreciate you all for doing that, and um, thank you for those who, if y'all can give me more insight on epilepsy, that would be great. That would be very great and wonderful if y'all can give me more insight on epilepsy. Um, that way, I'd I'd know more more about epilepsy, apart from you know research that. I can look up online, you know, and find research on epilepsy. And finish. I I couldn't find any better eyelashes than these to go with the look that I created. I just love the way these eyelashes worked out for me. And now it's time for the setting spray. <laughs> yes, and just in, indulge in it. So, yes, letting it, I'm letting it um dry down. The look didn't turn out too bad, you know. I, I really like the way this look turned out using uh, purple. And then I used my Ju Juvia's Place Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Moro. Or Moro. I don't know how you uh, pronounce it, but it's called Mor Moro. Moro. M-O-R-O. So, and then I used some highlight on top of the, the liquid lipstick to give it like some kind of like a gradient or just to give it another dimension of
color. But um, that's everything. That's my look. And I appreciate you being here. Go check out the ladies down below. And I, um, I'll see you in my next video. So um, y'all take care now. And I'll um, hope you'll see my next video. Thank you. Bye.